In this video, I'll be showing you the step by step you need to take to create a child account on a Windows 11 device. So let's say you have a child or you have a, a son or a daughter who is not up to 18 years and you want to actually control the time that person is able to use his laptop or his tablet. So what you need to do is the following. You will need to go to your Windows 11, go to your start menu and then click settings. So in settings, you need to go to account and in account, you can see we have the family. It says manage your family group, edit account type and device permissions. So click on it. And here you can see right now, I'm the administrator of this device. So what you need to do is you need to add someone. So add, just click add someone. You want to add a family member. So when you want to try to add a family member, probably you've already created an email account or you don't have an email account for that child. So you want to create a new email account. So what you need to do is the following. You need to say no Microsoft account and create one for a child. So by, by trying to create one for a child, so right now we need to enter the user's name. Let's say I have a son called Thomas Johnson and that is the son, that's the name of my son. So let's just enter the new email account and I'm going to just add some numbers to it and then click that's going to be just Thomas Johnson 124. So let's click next and you can see say, this account is already taken. So let's try to modify the account and see what happens. So you see the account is already taken. I think we can try to so what I did is I just add a dot to the Thomas.Johnson and 436. So I don't want to actually delay this video, make it longer by showing you all the numbers I tried, I tried before I get it right. So now we need to enter a password. So just try to enter a simple password or a complicated password for the user. It should not be that too simple so that people should not be able to sign into your, dev to your device easily. So it says I would, like, uh, I would like information tips and other about Microsoft product. I will uncheck that and then click next. So right now I need to enter the name of the child that is Thomas and the last name is going to be my name which is Johnson and then I'm going to click next. So here I'm going to actually select the location of the user which is Belgium and then I'll just put um, the date of birth is going to be January probably the first and then I'm going to put 2015. So which means that 2015 means that child is still it's like about eight years old so probably it's still a child so we need to click next i can see it's trying to actually create the account so we need to actually confirm this we say by just trying to solve the puzzle so let me just do this and then come back again so i actually um i just did the puzzle and it was um, verified and correct so what i need to do is to actually sign in with the new account we just created let me just enter his email address and then enter his password and then click sign in. So by clicking sign in, now you can see it says parent or guardian consent is, requir is required for this account. So I want to actually select I'm a parent or guardian. So you need to actually sign in with your own Microsoft account to actually verify that you are the one that is creating this account. So let's just click continue. And right now, I will need to actually sign in with my own personal email address. So let me just enter my email address. And then click next. So now I will need to provide my password. So click sign in. So because I've con configured a um, kind of a multi-factor authenticator on my account, so I'm, I'm required to actually authenticate my Password. So I'm just going to actually approve it from my mobile device. So it has been approved and then I can now sign in. Click yes. So now what you need to do right now is the following. We need to actually make sure that we just read the following and then click yes, I agree. 
and then you can say my child can sign into non microsoft apps so i don't want my child to sign to non microsoft apps i just want my child to be able to use google and the rest so let me just click continue but if you want your child to to sign into non microsoft apps you can actually check this so let me just click continue and then it says um thomas will only be able to use apps published by microsoft i'm going to say yes i'm sure i just wait for some seconds and now you, you see we now have some options here it says the screen time limit so this is actually what i'm looking for because i don't want my child to actually sit behind his device for like 10 or 12 hours the whole day when he's at home so i want to actually set you can set this moment it says no limit so i want to actually set the limit to for example i want to put it to um straight four hours daily log between 9 pm and 8 am or six hours between 9 pm and 8 a.m. So which means that my child should be able to use his device between just six hours daily. So I'm going to actually use the moderate. But mind you, we can actually you can, I don't know, you can see it says six hours daily, which means six hours daily is going to be from from like um, Monday to Sunday. But we can actually change this. I will I'm, I will I will also be showing you how to actually change this using your Hotmail from your um from your hotmail.com and then we also have the option that says age limits on apps and games you see we can actually choose eight but we can actually restrict it to like 10 or more so i'm just going to leave it for eight and then it says activity reporting is on web and search filter for age is also on which means it's going to actually filter to help you protect your child it's going to block some content that is actually not allowed and say ask to buy is also on so if your child is trying to buy something from microsoft store it's going to actually request for a permission so let's just click on the family safety at this moment you can see it says i'm going to just accept the cookies so at this moment you can see i'm the family organizer i'm the family organizer and you can see we have as me kelvin and then we have thomas so right now i cannot just i can just click cancel this and you can see that thomas have just been account has just been created so thomas johnson can now sign into this device using his credentials but if for example i want to make sure that thomas is only allowed to log in to his device on some specific days what you need to do is need to do is the following go to your outlook outlook.com or your hotmail account and then click on your right hand side just click your account manager and then click my account so when you click my account it's going to take you to my account to your account and then you can see when i scroll down here we have the family so we have two two members here then i need to select thomas johnson so by selecting thomas johnson and you can see that here we have the time limit is set is, is on at this moment we don't have any connected device so here we can actually adjust the time that we want thomas to be able to work on his laptop for example thomas do go to school from monday to like friday i want to say okay i don't want thomas to work on his device for like six hours so i want to change the monday time so let me just change it to for example to just two hours and then click done so you can see we now have two hours so which means within this time range of 8 a.m to 9 p.m thomas should be able to work on his device just for two hours and i, I can also do the same for like thursday and change it also to like let me just change that to two hours as well and then click done so this is how you actually schedule thomas to log on to his device on just for some specific hours and not or i can actually change for example i can say well on sunday or if for example it's a public holiday i can change this to like more hours 12 hours or even let me just put 10 hours and then click done so which means he should be able to work on that device for like 10 hours so this is how you create a child account on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 device. So this will, this, process, this process should also work on a Windows 10 device. So I'm going to actually create a different video on how to do it on a tablet or your mobile phone. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if you have any question concerning Windows 11 or Windows 10, Windows operating system, even Windows 8, you can always send me a personal email to info at kelvglobal.com or if you have any question concerning windows server or azure or microsoft 365 you can always send me a personal email or leave a, a comment in this video and i will reply to you 
as quick as possible. And please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos for more IT related videos. Thank you very, very much for your time and goodbye.